global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. The Liberal Party crisis has taken a new twist as a former Deputy National Chairman, Kalisto Sokafo, has laid claim to the national chairmanship position and he's taking a very strong stand in taking over the party and has already rolled out the things he intends to do. You're going to see the reason why he has done this. Also, in a related development, the party, the Labour Party in Imo State, have sent a strong message to Goswil Akbabi over one of their senators who has decided to cross carpet to APC. And I must say, Kalisto is coming up now is a wrong move, which because what I'm saying that is they may likely leverage on that. But however, let's look at full details of the news and we'll be back to discuss more. A former deputy chairman of the Labour Party, Kalisto Sokafo, has announced the takeover of the party's affairs. Kofo hinged his declaration on a 2018 consent judgment of the Federal High Court, which he claimed has not been obeyed. The party at the time experienced a leadership tussle between the late Abdul Qadar Salam, a former chair of LP, and a group led by Salihu Muhammad, who had declared himself the national Ketika chairman of the party. In the consent verdict, the judge handling the dispute, Gabriel Kolawale, held that all parties consent of all parties convene an inclusive national convention. Addressing a press conference in Abuja on Friday, Okafor said the convention ordered by the judge was not obeyed and it was on that faulty structure Julius Abure became national chairman. The former deputy chair who was in the National Working Committee with Salam said he is taking over the party because he and his group are beneficiaries of the judgment. According to him, he says the owner of the house has taken the house. When I mean honor, I am not contesting Labour Party leadership with NLC. No, I am talking about the process, the midwifing of this process, fresh convention. The 2014 convention is the right avenue to midwife it. For that reason, Kali Suzukafo is now the acting chairman of the Labour Party. Sequel to the above development, members of the 2014 National Working Committee who are beneficiaries of the consent judgment have agreed to midwife an all-inclusive and expansive convention in compliance with the consent judgment delivered by Honorable Justice J. O. Kolawale and further agreed to within six months embark on a purposeful reconciliation of all aggrieved members and group to achieve a united focused Labour Party that will redefine political leadership in Nigeria's quest for a better nation. Kafo said his intervention is pivotal resolution of the long-drawn legal battle for the soul of the Labour Party. Meanwhile, in a related development, the Imo State chapter of the Labour Party has asked the Senate President Gosul Akwabi to declare the seat of Senator. Senator representing Imo is Oweri Ezenwa Onyewuchi vacant following his defection to the All Progressive Congress APC. Has been reported that the decision of Wuchi, who won the 2023 election into the Senate on the platform of the Labour Party to defect to the APC, was read on the floor of the Senate by Apavio on Tuesday. The, Labour, the lawmaker, after his defection, also declared support for President Bola Metinibo and Governor Hope Uzadima. He said his decision was made after due consultation with his family, supporters, constituent members, and conscience. However, the Imo State Labour Party Publicity Secretary, Bright, a forum in a statement on Thursday described Onyewuchi's defection to APC as shameless and dishonorable after his months of hide and seek with the party. The Imo Labour Party noted that Onyewuchi's political career would have been over following his heavy defect at the People's Democratic Party PDP's senatorial primaries but was revived by the party which backed and sponsored him. The party noted that while Onyewuchi will not be missed, the party will use every legal avenue to reclaim the mandate given to him. The statement read thus, it said, We received the unfortunate news that the member representing Imo is Oweri, Senator Ezenwa Onyewuchi, has defected to the APC on the floor of the Senate on Tuesday after his months of hide-and-seek with the APC. From the very day he was sworn into the 10th Senate, he has not attended any of our party's meetings or functions and has not added any value to our party, so we will not be, he will not be missed at all. We recall that his political career was drowned and dead after he was terribly defeated in the PDP senatorial primaries. Even as a serving senator before our great party took pity on him, picked him up from the depth of the ocean and gave him 
life jacket, that's our party's ticket, and revive him politically. In the light of the current development and in line with the 1999 constitution as amended, we request him to do the needful and resign immediately from the senior. Following his defection to the APC, he is carrying the mandate of our party. We call on Senate President Gosman Akwabio to declare his seat vacant within three days in line with section 62, subsection 2 of the 1999 constitution as amended. Failure to do that, we will invoke all available legal avenues to reclaim our mandate. Let's listen to the letter of the defected lawmaker as it was read by Gospel Akbabu on the floor of the Senate and get to hear the exact reason why he has moved so that we know whether the legal means uh, Labour Party is going to explore to get back the elected position will be okay considering the state of affairs in Labour Party. In resignation as member of the Labour Party and my former declaration for the All Progressive Congress, the APC. This decision is due to the intractable division, intractable division, and crisis in the Labour Party that sponsored my area election into the Nigerian Senate. The communication is therefore made pursuant to Section 68, Subsection 1G of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Imo State and the entirety of the Southeast remain united under the leadership of our performing governor, His Excellency, the Supreme Senator of Ubuntu UN. To give our unflinching support to give to the president and commander in chief as so well now you can hear exactly the reason why he decided to cross cap it to apc intractable division in the party and already we know that in the leadership of labor party there's a lot of crisis there apart from that we also with this latest one from Kalisus okar for dating back to 2018 coming up with a legal document and all the katakata that is going on the man will no matter the legal uh uh, position that the Labour Party may decide to take, there is no way he will be stripped of his position because it's very glaring, it's on paper, it's everywhere that Labour Party is in crisis and it seems the crisis is not going to end anytime soon. And based on the provision of the Constitution, that's Section 68, Subsection 1, there is an exception that the only reason why you cannot be asked to vacate that or why that seat cannot be declared vacant is because there is crisis in the party he's defecting from. So the man is overly justified why he has to move. We have seen different media uh, uh, interviews and the likes where Labour Party principal officers come up and they speak against the wahala that is in the party. So right now, uh, the Labour Party senator in Imo State is overly justified to cross cap it. And, and that's why we are using this opportunity to talk to Peter Obi. If you are intending to further your political career and also stand in for the position of a presidential candidate, come 2027, create a new party of your own obedient party. You can create it so that you move. Because I know that a lot of them that are in that party who do not want you to defect want to benefit from you when it comes to 2027 when it's time to you know start the legal proceeding and all of that so many of them will wake up with different legal issues and before you know the party will be torn apart we will even see an emergence of another presidential aspirant in that labor party i'm so sure of it and on the basis of that uh, so many things will go bad and before we know the party will be in a fix and in your very eyes, the party would disintegrate. Wisdom must be applied now. Already we've seen the level of the campies on a, almost on a daily basis. People are decamping from PDA, Labour Party. Some for their selfish personal gain. Some they don't want to get involved in all those bahaha that is going on in the party. So I think Peter B should wake up and do the right thing. These are matured men. No matter how you try to sell, settle that cost, they want to use you as a product to you know get the financial benefits that they want so that from there they move nobody knew labor party as much as nigerians are concerned Labour party was never in the picture when it comes to talking about strong opposition peter will be made them who they are and with the way things are going you've got to take your chances because unfortunately in that party there are different calibers of men with i mean multi-dimensional character which cannot be explained with just normal words I like to leave it there. Let's meet in our conversation and talk on this. What's your position on all of this that is happening in the Labour Party? Let's interrupt. Global happenings today.